Well, this is a really important picket line today because we are outside of a conference where Deb Matthews, the minister responsible for advanced education, is speaking inside. She's actually speaking at, at a conference on mental health in the college system. And we think it's ironic that she's out there in there to having that conversation instead of talking about getting the counselors who deliver mental health services to students back to work. Are we here to send a message to Deb Matthews? Yes! Do we want the colleges back to the bargaining table? Yes! She is responsible for the college system, and it's well within her power to direct the college presidents and the College Employer Council to get back to the bargaining table, bargain a fair collective agreement that will improve quality education, and deliver a fair contract for the workers who do that. What do we want? Fairness! When do we want it? Fairness! What do we want? Fairness! When do we want it? Now! As a councillor, we are completely overloaded. And as councillors, we, we don't just walk away. We are concerned, we do care. So it's really stressful as a councillor. That's number one. Right now, we have 81% of our faculty on short-term contracts, which may mean they're not available to students, a good number of them outside of the classroom. This is hugely problematic for students, especially those with any kind of mental health issues. Often they need a little bit of extra support. Faculty are the front line who can identify identify the signs of students who are experiencing mental health. Unfortunately, our contract and part-time and sessional faculty may not get the training. It's very likely they don't get the training. So they are not able to be part of a circle of care. We need more secure funding for our counselors in our system. That's what we're here for today, everybody. Our counselors, our members of our locals are also being mistreated. They don't have a workload formula, so they can be made to work as much as is necessary and that is not healthy for them or for the students. Who matters? Counselors matter! Who matters? Counselors matter! Same work, same pay! We are here for fairness in the classroom, for equal work, for equal pay. We are here to ensure that we have academic quality so that faculty have control over assessments, assignments, and student grades, so that counselors have a workload formula, so that we have more full-time positions for everybody. I was really struck by being inside at the conference with how many people were in that conference who as soon as we started to ask questions, as soon as we raised our banner, um, were silent. You know, presumably many of the people in that room were managers. That would have been a perfect opportunity for people to stand up and challenge the minister on the, uh, the Liberal government's current position on the faculty strike. I mean, working in accessible learning services, I work with a lot of students with mental health issues and other kinds of disabilities. And I know full-time teaching faculty are absolutely essential when it comes to identifying students early. Minister Matthews talked about the importance of early intervention. How are we going to possibly identify students early when we have so many part-time faculty who do not have the time or the experience to be able to identify students who might be experiencing mental health distress and connect them with the appropriate professional services that are available in the colleges. The one thing that bothered me was just that Minister Matthews opened her talk today on at a mental health conference by joking with uh, her audience uh, on the nature of this strike and the pickets themselves. She said, I hope you enjoyed the welcoming committees that I arranged for you at each of the entrances to the building. A little uh, ripple of laughter across the room. Some of us, of course, bowed our heads in disgust, as if this is a, a matter to joke about, as if we're not serious as if we're not here because we're talking about precarious employment. And of course, the correlation with mental health is pretty obvious. Uh, yeah, yeah. I still can't believe that they think that they can hold a conference on campus mental health 
without having faculty there, without having counselors there. We're the people who make mental health happen on campus. Campus mental health begins with having healthy jobs, quality jobs. You can't have a model anywhere in the world that works where three quarters of the workforce is precarious. Um, our faculty are hurting and, and that's going to spread out and impact on students just as much. willing to walk the line for their colleagues for a better system together. This is what keeps me going, is that we are in this together and I think the public is hearing us. They are hearing that we are not out for wages, this is not about money, it is about a better quality of life for all Ontarians fundamentally. We are part of a larger social movement for ending precarious work in Ontario. We want safety, stability, security for all workers. Minister Matthews keeps saying that uh, she wants both sides to get to the table, but what she's not taking responsibility for is the fact that she is the advanced education minister. She has a very important responsibility and role to direct counsel to get at that table and start talking about the real issues that are facing the post-secondary system.